Hello, welcome to the Devotion for Tuesday, October the 25th, entitled, Whose Interests? Now, as we looked Sunday morning, and then again yesterday in the, the uh, devotion, we said that we are the ones that need to be setting the example, that we need to do to others what we want them to do to us. We need to be the ones that initiate those areas. And we talked about that it's when we understand it's our responsibility to start this. But what's the agenda? What are, what are the things that we need to initiate if we're going to be this initiator? And as we read in Philippians 2, 3, it says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. In other words, don't do things that are for me, for my interest, for my uh, areas, the things that I want. It says, Rather, in humility, value others above yourself, which is what we read yesterday in the Golden Rule. Not looking out to your own interests, but to the interest of others. And this is the second principle I want to hit on that we talked about Sunday morning. That we look to the interests of others. That we make their concerns our agenda. That we make their issues our issues. That we model being concerned about what they are concerned about so that we earn the right to be able to speak about the things that we're concerned about. And we talked about the fact that people hear better and are able to be more in unity and in line when they sense that we care about their issues and not just about our own. The second level of maturity then is to set the agenda on something that they are interested in first. That is the agenda and the heart is I want to do this for them, looking for them to be able to do that for me and others. So let's pray. Father, as we look at the heart that we have yesterday. Now we look at the agenda, which is to make our initial uh, moves to something that is valuable to the others, something that is about their life, not just about our life. And Father, you modeled this so perfectly as Jesus embodied your heart and your presence, giving and saying, I didn't come to be served, but to serve. Lord, open our eyes as to how we can let this attitude permeate who we are. Change our relationships. Do your work in us. In Jesus' name, amen. The agenda, their interests. I'll see you tomorrow.